and uh, welcome back to How To Hen. Today we're trying something a little bit different. I'm doing something new that I always said I was gonna do but I just hadn't got around to it yet. Reaction video, yay! So I'm tr gonna try not to talk too long in the introduction. Um, you may not recognize me if you don't know me because I'm wearing my glasses today. Normally for my videos, I tend to just not even bother with contact lenses and wing it, sort of blind. But I figure if I'm watching something and reacting to something, I probably should be able to see it. So glasses today. I also plan in future to have snacks and potentially a little drink because you know that's the theme of my channel with these reaction videos. However it's midnight just about and I'm already bloated AF from all the things I've eaten today. So I figured more snacks right about now probably wasn't a good idea. So instead I have my comically large drinking water and my laptop. So since this is a channel about hen party planning I thought I'd start by reacting to a couple of uh, clips from Don't Tell the Bride, different episodes that focus primarily on the hen party and of course because it's Don't Tell the Bride they're all hideously awful and the brides are very upset. I haven't done a sort of screen recording, camera recording, overlapping the two with sound correct sort of thing. So we're gonna see how this goes and if it's not great, I'm sorry, and I'll work on it again in the future for next time. So let's fire in. So this first one is wife is furious when groom forgets to plan her ride to her hen party. It's green. No. It's so nice. nice. So I take it we're starting with nice. are these the bridesmaids dresses? That's a dress. It's not very glam. The finishing touch. Oh my god. So I know this isn't about the hen party, but this is why you don't let guys plan anything. That's just for bants. That's not even like... Just give us a piece, go put them on. Nice. Just remember, it's our big day, not yours. We don't care. This isn't going to put me This isn't going to care. Anyone else is tight? They're a swat. Oh. Like the fact that they laughed when they took oh the wings gosh. out <laughs> is like, oh, this is a joke. The dress didn't look that bad. Oh, they've it's got tasks like at the bottom. I have no idea. That's, that's really not that bad. Really good. Good. I feel really oh, funky, and the ears. to be honest. It doesn't fit well. What's funky mean? Funky, like that. Mm. It's just not very flattering, you know? We nearly got you a fancy dress shop pixie dress. And that was... What's wrong with that? I just want to know where all your money's gone. You'd rather a fancy dress? It actually was quite expensive. That was... Pixie. The dresses cost oh. a lot of money. It's cut. The shoes were quite expensive though. Oh, shut up, they're from Primark. I reckon the uh, one that would, like, laugh it off or be You just better have a really good job with her dress. Yeah. Oh, she looked nice. Oh, we nailed it. You look nice, but she look excellent. She will look nice. She the day to be a joke. She doesn't at all. She didn't say that. 100%. She definitely did. If the whole day's a joke, it's going to do a head in a bit, I think. She's marrying me, of course she's going to be happy. <laughs> she's so romantic. As long as the rest of the wedding... It's fine. It's traditional yeah. all about the wine, then we will dress as pixies. If you're wearing pixie ears and wings, I feel like the rest of the yeah, wedding being traditional you can't really count on. I really have, yeah. Okay, now we're now we're into hen party stuff, I imagine. I'm in bed dorm with the boys. So he's going to bed a dorm. Well clearly not as much of a good time as you're having. Still having dried up from the assault course. So part of the reason I only do hen do's right now is because they're, they're very different from stag do's and the demands are very different. He took himself to Benidorm and was happy kicking about in a Borat onesie rubbing sand in his and getting drunk. And there might be some brides who would love that, maybe not the mankini bit, but you know, to each their own. But hens can be a little bit pickier because they pay more attention to detail. I also think we've missed a bit because it just says she's dried off from the assault course so I wonder if there was an assault course part of the hen before this bit. Which again, for a bride that would love that, great. But I'm getting the impression because it's this show that she probably didn't. Ram has been told to prepare for a big night out with the girls. <laughs> hey hens, hope you had a thorough workout. Now it's time to relax and unwind in the English Riviera. Have fun in Torquay. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Bert, there's no 
that's what's hell are we gonna get there? Uh, time for a call to the boys. Who is it? Hi, Kim. Are you having a good time? Oh, we're having a really, really time. What's that? What's that? Oh. We can't now get to Torquay, darling. We can't get there. The night's ruined. But How we can just man up and just sort someone out. So, while I appreciate that if he's going to send them somewhere, he should think about how they get there, I feel like, I don't know if this is Chief Bridesmaid or Maid of Honor or whatever, but to go, we can't get there, darling, the night's ruined, that does, that feels a bit dramatic, doesn't it? Like, that feels like okay, well, if this weren't something that he organised, how would you get there? All right, maybe you'd arrange a minibus in advance. I don't know where they are, and also showing my Scottishness, I also don't know where Turkey is. <laughs> but I would assume, you know, it's the 21st century, you, there's transport available, surely. I'm sorry, but like... Would you be willing to put the money that you were going to put behind the bar at Turkey to yeah. put it behind the bar? That's fine, yeah, 50 quid, yeah, that's fine. 50 quid? Budget. I want the day to be pretty special. You've got to see it though, Sam, a little bit from our point of view. I don't know where you are, Sam. I'm guaranteeing you are all day, right? Flight costs more than it would to get us to Torquay, all of us. Is that true? You've got to understand that this is a off. Well, it's not that hard. Just sort of live. Right, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna go. Good, mate. I want to see Sis. Good. I mean, that's really interesting because he's raging that they're not annoyed. Now, I get it if this is like the 20th shit reaction that he's had in a row to something that he's done, he's gonna start to get a little bit aggy, but she 100% had a point there. Like, he can't get aggro at her and say, oh, I only put 50 quid behind the bar if he's gone on a flight to Benidorm with his pals and paid for all three of them and presumably is covering drinks and stuff as well when they're there. That is what f***s me off about this bit of the show. I know I was just bitching about her, but she's totally right there. Oh, she got on the bus. It's amazing. Because he's not involved in this night out. We all had such high expectations as well, didn't we? Like, imagine if you got this, imagine if you got this, don't go. When I see him, I'm going to be so angry. Okay, so that's the end of that clip. I'd love to see what happened. I want to... I think maybe in future I'm going to try and watch whole episodes because... and then just pick out the bits that are relevant because I really want to see... I really want to see what happened. Like, did she get there? Did they organise a bus for themselves? Like, who did they get there in the end? Did he feel bad and apologise? So I would like to come back to full episodes in the future, but we're going to watch another clip just now. This is just called The Hen Night, so I have no idea what happens. Hello, sorry, did you arrive there yet? You have? Contributing towards the cost of the meal, obviously. Um, luck luckily, as there's hardly anyone turned up for it now, it should be fine. So you may actually have some left over for drinks, like when you go onto the I next. I already place. love this girl who's on the phone too. It's a hundred pounds. That's one hundred pounds between all of them. So you can maybe buy yourself a couple of my heaters or something. And the, the, the thing is, because I haven't been able to obviously get to see you or anything, um, would yourself or Susie be able to, you know, pay, and then I'll just reimburse you? Okay. Sister Cheer and friend Victoria join them to make a party of five. Worlds apart from Jip's stag night, the girl. Okay, so like, there's a hundred quid between five is not obviously going to go that far depending on where they are, but the way the narrator said it, it was like there was 20 of them. <laughs> and you know, a hundred quid wasn't even going to cover one drink each. Um. But if there's five of you, I'd think £100, unless you're going to like the swankiest bar in London or whatever, should get you one drink each. Although, yeah, it's not good that he's asked her to pay for it because he obviously couldn't figure out a way to like call them and put it behind the bar or whatever in advance. But she's so sweet. Like, I love her. Settle down to a civilised meal. Okay, so they spent it on food and not on drinks. Oh, is he picked somewhere just because it's close? Oh bless him, I bet he wanted her to go somewhere fancy but it's actually really quiet and a bit too upmarket for her when she wants to just unwind. But he's maybe just misread it a bit. 
Colt heels look nice though. I think she's trying to like make sense of it and she's trying to be like, oh, maybe this and maybe that. But I, I honestly think he's just, he picked somewhere that was really close to the restaurant because he didn't want to have to walk. He didn't want them to have to walk too far and then just didn't bother researching the bar. Like he probably looked at the cocktail menu and went, oh yeah, that, there's loads of cocktails in there. It's really close to the restaurant. That'll be good. And he's not thought about the fact that if she's a bit of a party animal, she's gonna wanna go somewhere with like dancing or live music or... And it sounded like there was lots of people who couldn't make it and so they're probably feeling a bit down anyway. And it was nice of her to sort of say, oh, maybe it was us and not just be like, this was shit. Like at least she took a minute to be like, maybe we just weren't in the right headspace because it was quite quiet. So that's sort of sweet. I feel like that's not too bad. He's misjudged it a bit, but it's not as bad as the last one. For sure. I think in future I'll try and do like a whole episode and then just pick out relevant bits because I think that might be more coherent. I feel like I'm missing so much of the story here that I can't comment as much. I like, I'm only getting a minute or so for each clip so I can't really comment on what's going on. But this was a good first try so thank you for watching along with me and I hope that you come to the next one. Please subscribe if you want to catch the next one and press the little bell because I only post once a week at the moment on a Wednesday so you won't get lots of spam. And if you want to talk anything hen party related, please drop me a message or an email. It's in the description below. And go and visit www.howtohen.com for lots of inspiring hen party ideas that are a little more complex than what the guys in these shows are coming up with. Happy henning! Love you, bye!